Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctifice tuum nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum. It is the Savage Nation. What a day of sanctimony. You could see why most Americans who have a brain are, are atheists. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, this, this was the last straw for me. It was bad enough watching the naked Marxist Pope, who has spent his time attacking America, attacking the middle class for days. And the sanctimony today of not only the Pope, but the other so-called religious leaders, the reform rabbis, my toes curled up in my shoes, the monks, I don't understand it. How can I mean? You, you see, people can look through this stuff, and the city of New York is just. Uh, and then Boehner, Mister Crybaby, he suddenly wakes up because he met the Pope, who blessed his grandchild, and decided uh, that he was going to resign today. Well, not so. He's got another month to destroy America, and what we've got to do is watch what he does. The guess is he's going to. Push through immigration reform, meaning amnesty for millions of illegals. He's going to push through funding for Planned Parenthood to make sure the abortions roll on. He's going to roll up the debt, and then he'll retire from Congress, John Boehner. God only knows what golden parachute awaits him from those in Congress that he has uh, worked this deal out with, because I don't trust this man. He is the least popular speaker in 30 years. And what's ironic here is he began as one of the young Turks. Boehner, Boehner came to power as a conservative, firebrand, Tea Party member type. And, of course, he got compromised by the system. And look what he is today, a crybaby. And he's the one, by the way, who brought the Pope here. He's been working on bringing the Pope here for 10 years. So when you say, why are we seeing a breakdown of the walls between the church and state, it was John Boehner who did it. You know that it wasn't Obama who wanted the Marxist Pope here. Although it worked out for Obama real fine. So we open it up to your calls today on the Savage Nation. 855-407-282. Who is Pontius Pilate? Who is Judas? Who is Jesus? I mean, it's so hard for most people to understand the players on the stage today. The same day the Pope speaks before the UN. And we know what the UN is. Anti-American to the core. And the same day. Boehner wakes up and decides he's resigning. Resigning. And McConnell, of course, salutes Boehner. We got to play a little of the sound. Uh, the Pope is, is old already. I, I, I can't wait till he leaves the country. I can't take it anymore. The entire nation is in a mass hysteria. You know, this is not a mass, but mass hysteria. Do you see what's going on? It's, it's like a mass hysteria over this bouncer. And a man called my show yesterday. had the nerve to say to me, that he, he, he sees things from a higher plane than I do. Do you know who used to use that rhetoric? That's a medieval view of the average man, that the religious people have a, a high, they function on a higher plane than we do. Kings function on a higher plane than we do. They see things more divinely than we do. It's utterly unbelievable to me to put up with this, but this is what's happening in America today. And how he could speak uh, before... The joint session of Congress was a mystery to me until I learned that it was John Boehner himself who brought the Pope here. That's another one of his great accomplishments, is bringing the Pope to bust down the walls between church and state and impose this naked Leninist doctrine upon all of us from uh, Pope Francis, who I call Pope Two-Faced the Tenth. Now, I realized something last night. I had a little difficulty sleeping because many of my listeners are devout Catholics, and they have enjoyed my show and loved my show and loved my values and loved my viewpoints for years. You know, but when the rubber hits the road, you know what's going to happen, don't you? The devout Catholics who have loved me for my traditional family values and uh, my patriotism and my borders language culture message, they're going to go with the Pope. They're not even going to analyze what this Pope is saying and how dangerous he actually is. Now, 
fortunately, the Pope has no power. He has no legislative power whatsoever. But he sways a lot of sheeple to think that by giving up their liberty, they're going to have something good happen to them in the next world. He sways many of the sheeple to think that America is an evil nation. He sways many sheeple into thinking that America is the greatest polluter on the planet. Well, he ought to reserve those remarks for China and, and India, two of the largest polluters on the planet. When he meets with uh, Chairman Mao Z, whatever his name is, Chairman Z, I would call him Chairman Zero. When he meets Chairman Zero today, uh, maybe he ought to say, I'd like to go to the, uh, your country and lecture you on pollution. Think that'll happen? Nah. But let's say we're balancing these two stories. The phone number here is 855-407-282. We have a few open lines on the show today. It's a big day. It's a huge news day. Huge, huge news day. And we should play some of the sound right in the beginning. When Boehner resigned and he gave a speech today, I, I was sitting there saying, please don't break into tears. It's old already. Who do you think you are, Glenn Beck? What is this act with the crying act? Does that really sell? I don't cry on the radio. Yesterday when I announced uh, that it was my mother, my deceased mother's birthday, I was emotionally moved. But I'm a professional and I'm a man. I kept my emotions to myself. I didn't break into tears and pull out a, 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 a crocodile tear for you to mil milk you out of some emotion. What's with the crying of John Boehner? Medication, a combo, a medication job. So he resigns today and says what a great job he did. And you have to now listen to both clip 17 of John Boehner congratulating himself for capitulating to the socialist president. And then listen to the socialist, communist, anti-American, anti-constitutional, uh, anti-American people president congratulating John Boehner. Listen to clip 17 and a half of 18. My mission uh, every day is to fight for a smaller, less costly, and more accountable government. And over the last uh, five years, our majority has advanced uh, conservative reforms uh, that will help our children and their children. So I'm proud of uh, what we've accomplished. John Boehner is a good man. He is a patriot. He cares deeply about the House, an institution in which he's served for a long time. He cares about his All right. constituents. All right, you get the picture. Uh, and he cares about America. How, how would he know what a patriot is? How would he know what a patriot is? The only patriots he respects are the Iranian patriots who want to blow Israel and America off the map. Anyway, my friends, look, it's I can't say it's a sad day because thank God he'll be going back to Rome very soon on Monday and we won't be hearing from him much anymore. Let him stick to what he knows best, which is uh, Catholic, Catholic uh, doctrine and Catholic theology. And please keep his nose out of politics. It's offensive to me. Every Democratic gene in my body was offended by this Pope's visit. But it reached a crescendo today when I saw the, the liberal rabbi with the intonations. Here was the part that bothered me. They go to the 9-11 memorial. And allegedly it's to honor the first responders who were buried there. Or whose atoms blew into the universe there because of the Muslim terrorists who blew up the World Trade Center. And nobody dare call it Islamofascism. And then to add insult to injury, the rabbi gets up and says, those who blew this tower up did so in the name of God. No, it wasn't in the name of God. They didn't scream, Allah, uh, Allah, 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 God. It was Allah, Allah, Bar. No, they did it for Muhammad, not for God. Remember who they are and remember what they believe in. And unless we identify the enemy, we're going to die, all of us. You put a ring in your nose right now and buy a prayer rug. Go and buy yourself a prayer rug and get on your knees. I never saw such capitulation. To top it off, they had an imam there, again calling for peace. He ought to get up there and apologize for his brethren instead of calling for peace. It was awful. It was just awful. I tell you the truth. And the one word that comes to my mind is sanctimony. It has a meaning. Sanctimony. Look it up. The sanctimony oozed out of the television sets today. The feel-good sanctimoniousness. Sanctimony. It also rhymes with another word, baloney. Sanctimony also rhymes with phony. So if you want to call it sanctimony, phony, baloney, go ahead, make my day. That's all I saw today. I was not moved by any of them. The Buddhist monk, 
the, the Hindu chantress with. I never saw anything like the say, the Sanskrit prayer, the Buddhist prayer, the Christian prayer, the Jewish prayers. Where were they yesterday? What were they all doing there today in their vestments? Nice outfits they have. One thing you got to say it for these religious people is they live well. Beautiful outfits. Nicest fabric you can imagine. But what are they praying over the uh, remains in the year 2015 when this happened in 9-11, 2001? Well, what's this all of a sudden, the grandstanding? All of a sudden, they all marched in from somewhere. Can you just imagine? Look, I don't even want to talk about the Pope anymore. We know what he is. I've spent three days on him. I've studied him. I expose him in Government Zero. I'm not going to read from the book again today. But I will tell you this, many of you have ordered the book. It's gone up to number two on Amazon overnight because people are dying for the truth on this Pope. I mean, they've heard it. They inclinate, have inclinations about it. But the fact of the matter is, uh, Government Zero on Amazon has moved up the charts overnight. It's a month before publication. People are claiming, here, it's number two in books, politi politics, and social sciences. So will enough people read it to understand what I mean by Government Zero? No borders, no language, no culture. Will they understand that, I, that my warning, my decades of warning America has come to pass, that when I say no borders, no language, no culture, what am I referring to? The Pope is calling for no borders. The Pope is calling for no language. The Pope called for no culture. So in other words, by not standing up to the progressives and radical Islamists, who are both working towards similar ends, which is the, ver the, the destruction of Western civilization, to remake it in their own Marxist image, and to transform our once free republic into a third world dictatorship ruled by government zero, where there's absolute government and zero representation. Yes, I do combine in-depth analysis and biting commentary. And I do cut through mainstream media propaganda where I reveal an all-out attack on our borders, language, and culture by progressive travelers who have hijacked public policy from national defense to immigration to public education. And you need to know about this terrifying agenda to weaken the U.S. military, cripple the American economy, subvert basic American liberties, such as, well, I don't have to spell it out, there is no time to lose. The progressive Islamist agenda has advanced into every public space. From the White House to the religious house, to the military, to your local public school. And if America is to survive, we have one year left. It must be stopped. And I, Michael Savage, have a plan. And I've given you the inside story in part on this daily radio show over the years, but I've put it all together for you in my final nonfiction book, Government Zero. And I hope that you will buy a copy for a doubting Thomas out there who thinks it's all a joke who thinks that it's all about selling a book, who thinks that I don't believe what I say, who thinks that it's not as bad as I say it is, who thinks that America is just fine, who loves the progressive agenda, who thinks the Iranians don't mean what they say. Now, I've, I've taken a lot of heat for this criticism of the Pope. You have to understand, it was not without cost. I won't spell out to you what happened today, but something happened. I'm being told it's for one reason, but I know it's for another. Unless to say my instincts, my instincts are pretty good. I've got good survival instincts. I have survived all these years in radio, 21 years with an awful lot of flack. I've flown a lot of bombing missions every day on this show. I'm not comparing myself to a fighter pilot, but let me tell you something. In the world in which I live, when you're flying this high and you are sending these messages out to the progressive Islamist hordes out there, especially those in the media. You take a lot of flack and I take a lot of risks. But I've been very consistent on supporting the world's five principal religions, very consistent. And I took a big chance these days in exposing who this Pope is. And I know many of you are confused. And I know many of you are not educated. I know many of you are brainwashed. I know many of you are sheeple. And I can't say more than that. We're open for business. It's Rock and Roll Friday. It's the Savage Nation, 855-407-282. Back in a minute. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets. 